So again, more and more information is coming out. This just uh, it's kind of like the JFK assassination. Mm -hmm. I mean, if if you read books on that right now, there's no way you can't come to the conclusion that if not directly responsible, certainly involved. I mean, this, yeah. this, you know, it was not a lone gunman. There is no way it was a lone gunman. And then you find out, you know, who ran the Warren Commission? Well, that would be Alan Dulles. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the, the fired head of the CIA who hated Kennedy. <laughs> this, like, this is the last topic I expected to get to. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, so... <laughs> it's awesome, though. I love it. Even the heavily redacted state, it's just obvious. These guys knew how incriminating their funding of the Wuhan lab through EcoHealth Alliance was. And, you know, they're, they've been covering it up ever since. I mean, it's, it's interesting of all the government agencies that would know what happened. I mean, the government agencies that know the most is the CIA. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, they, they've, through USAID, they've been funding, you know, bio weapon research. You know, they, they, that's what it is. I mean, they're saying as well, it's, you know, in case some crazy person were to use CRISPR technology and splice genes and yeah. create a chimeric virus. I mean, we got to be prepared for it. So we got to know how to create a vaccine, right? That's yeah. the rationale. Well, so then they go out and they create dangerous chimeric viruses that produce a vaccine and, or produce a pandemic, and they know it. And so the CIA is well aware of this. They remain the agency that's still clinging to, oh, this sprung from nature. <laughs> and now we found out, good good work oversight by the House, that uh, I think six of the seven people tasked in the CIA for figuring out, you know, is this, you know, what is the origin of COVID were bribed to change their opinion from <laughs> spraying from the lab. And it's, so, again, there is so much corruption. Here's a pretty good figure, too. Obviously, I knew that Anthony Fauci had funded EcoHealth Alliance, right? That was to, to the tune of about $14, 15000000 million over a number of years, right? <laughs> The D Defense Department funded EcoHealth Alliance to the tune of about $42 million. Oh, nice. And USAID, which Bobby Kennedy says is a CIA cutout, which I believe, <laughs> to the tune of 50 some million dollars. Oh, wow. So Fauci's funding was less than the Defense Department and USAID slash CIA. So that tells you something. Again, that, that was information I didn't know until I read Bobby Kennedy's book, okay? Yeah. So again, more and more information is coming out that's just uh, it's kind of like the JFK assassination. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if you read books on that right now, there's no way you can't come to the conclusion that if not directly responsible, certainly involved. I mean, this, yeah. this you know, it was not a lone gunman. There is no way it was a lone gunman. And then you find out, you know, who ran the Warren Commission? Well, that would be... Alan Dulles. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the, the fired head of the CIA who hated Kennedy. This, like, this is the last topic I expected to get to. Uh, <laughs> well, again, so... <laughs> it's awesome, though. I love it. Well, again, so, yeah, I didn't come here to be an investigator. Yeah. But I became chairman of Homeland Security, and then March 2015, as soon as I became chairman, the Hillary Clinton email scandal broke. And not only am I chairman of the Senate Oversight Committee, that's what government affairs is, Federal records is under my jurisdiction. <laughs> you had to look at that. And it's the same cast of characters that exonerated her, that the doctor that edited James Comey's exoneration email, turned into Crossfire Hurricane. I mean, it's just it's just one great continuum to, you know, the FBI with their uh, oh God, was it what they call the task force that uh, is basically a catch and kill operation. They find out, you know, anything derogatory about uh, Hunter Biden and they go in there, they kill that information. And that's what they do with Chuck Grassley and I. In August 2020, during the midst of our investigation, we had an unsolicited briefing by the FBI that said, hey, you know, you guys talk this Russian disinformation. Nah. <laughs> now, this is after six months of us being accused of soliciting, disseminating Russian disinformation falsely by Democrats and by the media. It's like, okay, do, do you have, like, new intelligence here? I mean, you got something? Oh, can't share that with you. That's when I say, okay, who told you to brief me? To this day, I still don't know. Mm. I have no idea. They, they won't. Well, uh, interagency. Okay, there are people in the, who directed this briefing. They won't tell us. Yeah. So again, I, I've been subject to their their misdirection operations as well. So last question on the on the vaccine stuff in particular. This is this we're kind of wandering here, aren't we? Yeah, it's we're it's awesome. Yeah. Uh, uh, but but very much let, let me tie that up. Okay, yeah. so. For your listeners, if you want to go down the path I've gone, yeah. okay, so that's where I started my investigations, and you know I've been involved in all these investigations ever since, right? And I'll continue. Uh, 
But read JFK and the Unspeakable. Okay, that's, again, it's written by a real lefty, so you kind of got to get through that, but there's solid information that is eye-opening. Read The Devil's Chessboard. That's about Alan Dulles' CIA. Uh, just throw in there, The Creature from Jekyll Island is pretty good, <laughs> about the cartel that is our Federal Reserve. Okay, th- those are just some good books. If you want vaccines, Dissolving Illusions, Turtles All the Way Down. Uh, read Bobby Kennedy's The Real Anthony Fauci. Now read his new The Wuhan Cover-Up. Read Rand Paul's book. Yeah, I mean, there's good, solid information and your eyes will be open. And that's the whole point. We need more Americans eyes open to what government is doing to us and how thoroughly corrupt and pervasive the deep state is.